we discussed priorities. We live in a world of values. <clears throat> when a person has to make an investment, he chooses a certain investment. Why does he choose this investment over another investment? He realizes that this investment will give him greater dividends. So he has decided that this is the, the, the highest value, the most important value that he has chosen is this investment over the other one. When a person has time, he has chosen to, choose to use his time for certain things over other things. So he has chosen this value over the other one to give up his time. Give up time, give up money, give up honor. He can give up his honor for other things. We have to think in life, what do, is the highest value? I'll tell you a story. Somebody came to me with a question. A former Talmud came with a question. He had two jobs, two offers of jobs. One job would take a lot of time, and spend a lot of time, and he would make a lot of money. The other job, would take less of his time, and he would make less money. He was a younger man who was not married too many years, he had one child, and his question was, if he took the job that would give him more money and he'd get to use more time, then it would be on the cheshben of his wife, and he wouldn't be able to help his wife as much. On the other hand, he would make more money, and his wife would enjoy it, having more money. If he took the job with less money, he'd be able to help his wife, and he'd make less money. So, first thing I told him, I'm very impressed. That this is what you're thinking about, your, your main value here, and the question is, is your wife. How much your wife is going to gain from either one of the jobs? But I asked him one question. He didn't even think about this question. I asked him the question, the two jobs that he had, where is going to be a more ruchniyastika level in the, in the job he's taking? Are there going to be people talking in a certain level of their, what, they, what they're going to be talking about? Are they going to be talking about movies? Are they going to be talking about football games? Are they going to talk about ruchnius? Are they, their language they're going to talk? Is it going to be cursing? Are going to be using unrefined words? I asked him, are there going to be secretaries there that might not be dressed properly that you're going to have to deal with? So I asked him, did you even think about this? And he told me he didn't even think about this. And he didn't even put into his mind the question, the two questions was, the question was only about his wife. He didn't even mention and even think about the priority of when you're taking a job, how will it help deal with your ruchnius? So true, he cared about his wife, but there's other things also. We say, There's no greater value than a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And that's the first thing we have to think about, is how can I come closer to a Kaddish Baruch Hu? That has to be the greatest value of a person. Now in that, is the Ben Allah Makam, is Ben Allah Chaveiroi, is Ben Allah Asmoi, and all those levels, and all those Nishorim, <coughs> we call them, you know, I have to see, is this in Ruchlius? Is will it help me, will it not? We find Rachel Imenu had a question. Should I give up the Simonim to my sister, or marry Yaakov Avinu? which is a, a very tremendous question. Here she was losing out on marrying Yaakov Avinu. But on the other hand, her sister would be embarrassed. So she decided. And we say, because who's that? It's chus that she gave up her own ritzayinus, not to hurt someone else's feelings. That is a value. The value of not binam l'chaveirei. We find Dovod HaMelech. It says Dovod HaMelech had to go to different places. He had values as a king. 
many jobs, many things that he had to deal with, whether it were wars, whether it was Parnosa for the Klal Yisrael. And what did he do? Ragle Melichas is the base of Medrash. He felt the value of the base of Medrash, that's the highest value. Now, all of us, if we'll ask a person what is the most important thing, of course everybody is going to say definitely that Ruchlis is more important than his Gashmis. You'll ask, you'll ask a person what's more important, but when it comes to Lamaisa, when it comes to a question, should I go to Daven with a minion? When there's a question of monetary things. Should I get up in the morning? Should I daven with a faster minion rather than a slower minion? Because if I daven with a faster minion, I'll be able to get to have it. It'll be cheaper. I'll get more money. I'll come earlier to the work. If I go to a slower minion, I'll come later. To getting up early in the morning to come to a shul. Or do I just come in with Ashrei Yishtabach? You know, they say that, that they, some people come in with Kiva Suspari. They leave with Ele Barechev, Ele Basusim. So we know, we know in our minds, we know what's right. We know what's important. Now the question is, how do we live with it? How do we live with such, making in our decisions? Not only in our mind. Chazal tell us that Sadikim. Libam Bershusam. Rishoim Bershus Libam. What does that mean? That means that even though the Rishoim know what's right, they can't control themselves. It's Bershus Libam. They're enticed and they can't control, they can't overcome. They have to sleep in bed when the question of getting up in the morning or sleeping in bed, coming late to the evening. Or where there's a question talking during Chazar Sashats. And they have to have this unbelievable piece of gossip. And they know, really, we shouldn't be talking during Chazar Sashats. But it's a gishmak gossip. You know, a good joke. It's a good joke. And he can't overcome. And he knows what's the right thing. The right thing is not to talk during Chazar Sashats. But he can't control it. That's called the Sho'in Bishus Libra. How can we change? How can we, as Bnei Torah, try to find a way to overcome our lave that entices up to outweigh our understanding of priorities? So I want to let's see at one mahalach. A mahalach that will help each one of us to get to be able to act the fee what we think is correct is a very interesting Rav Moshe Feinstein Drash Moshe and Parshas Bolok who gives us an insight in Chazal it says in Posik, Hain Am Kalovi Yokum the Kaari is Nasa. Klal Yisrael get up in the morning, a choitef mitzvah. They immediately put on the palace, put on tfilin, they go to davening, say Kriyashma. And this that at the choitef mitzvah, they are able to overcome the going. What's so important about that? Says Rav Moshe Feinstein that it's a heder and a mitzvah when you do a mitzvah earlier. When I do a mitzvah as first thing in the morning, that starts the day. There is <coughs> and there's a group that that's to have shiurim called "Start the Day the Torah Way." What does that mean? What is imp so important? Start the day the Torah way. When I start the day the Torah way, I am showing that that is my priority. And even though we know that our, that's our priority, but how can we internalize it? How can we change our lave? How can we cause ourselves to act that way, 
act the feeling, our understanding this priority is the Enka Eka Chah Hashem Alekeinu, but Olam Hazeh. So says with Moshe Feinstein, that that's what Chazal is telling us. If we do, we have a choice of two things. For instance, when you get up in the morning, you can read the newspaper and then go to Shachos. Or go to Shachos and read the newspaper. When I go to Shachos before the newspaper, then I am showing Takarish Baruch that my, what's important to me is the mitzvahs. When I have two things to do, and I take one over the other, and I do first the Torah value, then I am ingraining in myself, and it's becoming part of me, that that is the most important priority. We find Malchit Tzedek Melech Sholem, Who koyen le'el elyon? Who koyen ve'en bon of koyenim? Malchit Tzedek's children were not koyenim until Avram came and he got the schus to be koyenim. Why? Because he gave a bracha to Avram Avinu before he gave a bracha to Kadosh Baruch What's so important? Because that way it cannot be sent over to his children. Who koyen? Even though for sure Malchit Tzedek of sure. Definitely, his priorities with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. And he knew that all of Ram's koiches was in the Kaddish Baruch Hu. But since he put Avram before the Kaddish Baruch Hu, then therefore he can't give it over to his children. His children will not see that that's his priority. And therefore his children were not Kayanim. He lost the Yerusha of Kayanim. If we want to give over to our children, these Yisaitis, then we have to internalize it. It has to become part of us. If it's just we understand it as the priority, it won't go over to the children. If we feel it, if we act this way. And every mice that we do, every small mice that we do, has an, has an impression. We find that shame and yefes both covered up, covered over noyach. But shame was, was put more effort into it. And look what the schar that shame got and Yefes got. Shame's reward was all his, and not all of them, but he got schus, that his, some of his children have a mitzvah of tzitzis. And Yefes will get reward when the bimachem is goy gomogel, because he put more effort. That small action changed everything. So too we can understand that when I put one thing before the other, if I have a choice of Torah, if I have a choice of doing mitzvahs, and I can do one before the other, they can have a, a, a tremendous impact on our lives. And then it becomes part of us. And if it becomes part of us, our children see it. And it has a hashpah on the children. Because it became part of us. Malki Tzedek and Achinami, in his mind he understood it, but it wasn't part of him. And that's what we have to change. Tzadikim libom birshusam. They have control over their life. Because it has become part of them. Their priorities have become part of them. And therefore they can control their life. Rishoyim b'shus libom. It's because even though their das, even though Esav was the greatest mechab in Av, he had the greatest level of kibbutz Av. But what he say? Yikrivu you may evil avi va'arga is Yaakov ochi. Hayyim Esav b'liboy, because he's in his heart was in control of him. His heart, his feelings, his enjoyment was the, the, the Averis. And the mitzvahs were not, even though in his das he understood. So this is my advice to all of us. If we can put mitzvahs as first and foremost in our Hanhoga, in every day, start off the day, begin the day the Torah way. When we start the day, the first thing, when we say, We wake up in the morning, 
we think what we're saying. Put some effort into think. I got up in the morning. Thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I got up in the morning. And that's starting the day, the Torah way. If I put that as my first action, that will in, internalize and to recognize that that's the most greatest internal, uh, the greatest priority. Ein ke'erkach ha'ashem alakeinu ba'ilam hazeh. Ve'en zulosho v'chayye olam ba'ilam.